history, but um, the Airbnb rocked, but the karaoke until 5.30 in the morning in the alley, like that bar was just so loud. And the next morning we'd walk out and there'd be like <clears throat> random things in the alley. Like there was once a jar, of, it looks like someone dropped a jar of pickles. Like they're just a smashed mm -hmm. pickle jar. Um, red vomit is what I was assuming it was next to it. I could be wrong, but that's what it looked Did like. You take a picture? <clears throat> no, I didn't. Sorry. You're fine. You're fine. I, You're fine. I, I didn't think that would be a very, <laughs> wasn't the greatest image. Um, but yeah, the people in Estonia were really kind of hard to talk to and really didn't want much to do with you. And not like in a French way, but in a very like, we're just that angry people leave us alone kind of way. Like they just don't want to deal with people in general. Oh. So yeah. How is there, um, you said karaoke, what are they? So from what I heard, we didn't go into the singing. bar, but from across the way, it sounded like American songs. So we were in Tallinn, Old Town, which is their mm -hmm. capital and a very touristy little spot. And then we like outside of the old town. Um, so it was a lot of international people in our little part of the city. So it was very American music that you were hearing. It wasn't anything too obscure, but we had to catch a ferry to go to Finland on Saturday morning. And they were, as we were walking to the ferry the next morning around 6 a.m., they were like falling out of the bar. How dare oh, they Lord. party on their vacation like that? That's crazy. Until 6 a.m.? Come on. Who karaoke <laughs> till 6 a.m.? It's not that fun. Evidently it is in, in this oh, area. I tell you what. Well, it makes it hard when you're going somewhere the next day or doing something because you didn't sleep at all the night before. But Was there a time in Cassie's life whenever she would have karaoke till 6 a.m.? Is yes, that one no. of those stories? I will not carry you just, at all. <laughs> but is this one of those stories where you're just realizing that you're just used to traveling and you're just used to kind of having the, the way the things the way you want it? You're not you're not that party Cassie anymore. Is right, possible? I'm not. Oh, entirely. And I'm totally poking the bear because I know you're super hangry right now. <laughs> I'm so fucking hangry. <laughs> I am not party Cassie at all. And I acknowledge that. And in fact, that night we stayed home and he saunaed and I jet tubbed and we drank wine and it was awesome. That was my party. And then we had karaoke -ers still in the morning. I've Damn never karaoke. been a karaoke person. I haven't either. I despise it. Same as bowling. Can't do that either. I love I karaoke. Oh, really? I bust out the Richard you would get along with our friend Sarah. Yeah. I, yes. I, I bust out the Richard Marks and I just kill it. Really? Can oh you God, yes. do it for us next time? Um, sure. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Why not? Awesome. Uh, so we caught maybe a we'll, Maybe we'll have Sarah on and you guys will both do your own favorite karaoke song and we'll judge you. Oh, that's a yeah, good idea. That's, um, that's never going to happen. I'm going to drink for that one. No. No, no it, it, it'll happen. happen. No. Why not? Because I produce the show and I can always just put in a better track. Can't we just I can surprise also guest you <laughs> she's not all sad no, i'm not sad I'm, it's gonna happen she's figuring out a way right now she's she's figuring out a workaround to this oh, work around love that word all mm -hmm. right so that was estonia yeah so and then yeah there was uh so then we went to ferry we, went, we hopped on a ferry and went to finland i really wish my fucking brain would work we went to finland which was better than Estonia in the sense of people were kinder. They were a little more warm. It's like a modern city in Helsinki, so it wasn't as like old town crazy. What's that? It's Brian getting Brian? antsy about having to do karaoke one day. <laughs> Is that Brian's chair? Mm-hmm. Bad episode of The Office. Are you settled? <laughs> uh, when we were in Finland, though, we found some really killer salmon, and we rode around on a little tiny scooter together, which was amazing. We like Jip the system and totally fit ourselves on one scooter. Luckily, I'm a short person. So, but yeah, it was an interesting trip. It's, it's a cool spot to go to. We had some, some, uh, what you call them snags, so to say along the mm -hmm. way, because we got stuck with some tourists kind of crap, but, um, yeah, it's a cool place to stop through. If you're like in the area, like if you want to go to St. Petersburg and Sweden and Tallinn, like if you want to do a loop around there, it's cool. I wouldn't fly from the States to go there by any means. It's a very little place. You can do it all in a day. Any semi-weirds, Brian, for you? Um, I, Not really. I mean, outside of bringing Randall on, it's been pretty um, low-key here lately. I, I cannot. I can't. 
<laughs> nope. <laughs> nope. Definitely not Sarah. It's definitely. Which not picture Sarah. are we going to snag to put on the Instagram? Is the question. I the Freddie Mercury one. Good looking pictures. I yeah. think we already used Freddie Mercury. I'm looking at that. Maybe. I don't know. I think we did. Well, we'll figure it out. Um, so I was in the grocery store and um, I. This is a public service announcement, but if you've got um, anything at the like meat, like if you've got chicken, like you just got sick on, but you know, when you put it in the bags, I didn't want to put, I I was going to have two in the bag because I didn't want to waste plastic bags. More bags. The lady go, you know what I'm saying? Like two things of chicken breast. Two chickens in one plastic bag. Yeah. Okay. So I go to check out and the lady kind of like did a deep sigh because I fit four different things of chicken in one bag. And she, oh, she had to unpack it. it. Yeah. And she's like, uh, I'm like, I'm, I'm sorry. I was trying to be conservative and whatever. And she was like, no, it's really fine. Um, it really helps if you only do two, but it helps if you do it like butt to butt so you can just scan one side and then scan the other through the bag Mm -hmm. it's like okay thank you I've always wanted to know you know I only need to be told once and she looked at me like I was like beaten or something I was like it's okay I only need to be told once what to do and I'll never (laughs) do it again and she just looked at me like she goes honey are you okay and I'm like what and she goes is everything okay at home oh, you, you and triggered I was like, her I did yeah. I was like yeah and she's like you only need to be told once is your what is girl? going on <laughs> like, no ma'am I just wanted to let you know like I'm not gonna be that pain in the ass that comes through your check-in line ever again so oh, now if you would have said I only need to be told once daddy then she could have had some really serious flags go up but luckily it was pretty subtle do you know oh, in Europe we don't have bags for our, our our poultry and meat, our raw meat? They don't give you bags for it. They hmm. throw it in all willy nilly with the rest of the shit. That a willy seems horrible. Bag. They give you bags oh. for your fruit and vegetables if you want them, though, which I think is weird. I just looked at our notes and I'm so excited about this because when you were like, I need to go back to our notes when we've we text each other like tips, but we don't get a chance to get caught up so this is really cramping my friendship style with you but (laughs) here's the deal i have a new game and we can play it next time okay but here's my example Mm -hmm. i can ruin him for you so (laughs) sounds great that's the name Uh, of the game i can ruin him for you i can ruin him for you because we've got the top five and i think we're always secretly looking for a way that we can move someone out of our top five and put someone in this is mm-hmm. our what our hall pass list or whatever we call it. Whoever it is that we would we want to hit up. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh huh. Yep. Yep. Pretty much. So I was watching this movie, and something became really unattractive, and they're on your top five cast. No. So I thought, is it Ryan Reynolds? I'm, nope. Oh, no, okay. I don't think we could do anything to ruin him. Oh, but um, yep, Skarsgård. <gasps> oh no. Hold on, let me Okay. Think. So the movie with um, the long shot mm. with Charlize Theron. Have you seen mm. it? No, it's not ringing a bell for me. And so, be God, what's right that now? funny guy? Seth Ro- Seth um Seth Rogan? Not Seth. Yeah, Seth Rogan, right? Kind of heavier guy from Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Pineapple Express. There it is. Yep, 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 yep. That him. So here's the deal. There is a scene in there, and anyone who has seen the long shot, it is where Charlie Theron and the Canadian Prime Minister, I think it's Prime Minister, is they're out on a date. And he is eating, and he has a way w- to which he eats and a way to which he laughs. And after I saw that, because I was excited seeing him in the movie and saying, oh, this is Cassie's in top five. And then I saw this scene and I was like, nope, and I'm going to ruin him for her. So I would like you to watch that scene. And if you watch this whole movie, Brian, you're so Seth Rogen. 
<laughs> in this entire movie. You could have played this part. Is this a funny movie? Even or... It's, it's funny. funny. It's super funny. It's... Yeah. Okay. Well, I think I'm okay with being Seth Rogen. I mean, he seems yeah. like a pretty cool guy. He does, yeah. I mean, I'm, um, I'm more fit. I'm better looking, but, yeah. you know. Did, I'm did not going to have... Sorry, go, go ahead. On. No. I was going to say, I'm not going to have you watch Working Moms, Brian, but I do think you should watch Long Shot and then get back to me on that. You're making a lot of assumptions here. I've already watched the season of Working Moms. The, the third season? season? three? Yeah. No way. Why I did you say show? anything? Oh, because you guys just assumed that a guy wouldn't watch that show. My husband mm-hmm. loved this first season. <laughs> yeah, it was really good. It's yeah, I, I, I I'm got gonna, lots I'm... of insight. I, I mean, I, I think it's a great show. I think it's funny. I think the first episode of the first season tells you whether or not you ever, that you are going to either love that show or hate it. Yeah. Well, yeah, there's a lot of boobs out in the very first scene. And the boobs. Yeah, but it's but it ruins the boobs. Like, it's not like, <laughs> hey, look, there's boobs. It's like, oh, <laughs> there's boobs, you know, and it's just not, you know, it's perfect for that whole that whole season. It, it it worked out real well. So um, follow okay, us on what? I like this game. I'll run them for you. I'm in support of it. Yeah. So I'll okay. give you a list of my top five. Um, Patrick Dempsey at it came back in there. So if you want to try and ruin him. So it can't just be like a Google that. image. It has to be like a. I don't know how you guys are going to ever ruin, it, ruin Christina Hendricks for me. Like, I don't even it think that's possible. Tough. Yeah. She would be impossible. Okay. All right, well, let challenge accepted. Good luck. <laughs> you know, I'm coming for you. I'll try. And then I don't think I'm going to find anything. <laughs> I don't either, but I'm going to try. She's super hot. Um, right <laughs> yeah. Follow us on It Got Weird Pod on IG, Twitter, Facebook. Rate, review, and subscribe if you've got a chance. And uh, I have set up a Patreon account. Oh, we should talk about our I have. <laughs> Yeah, we're we're getting back at it. We're going to show a level of um, consistency again mm-hmm. um, before we put different levels and things like that. But we are going to um, have some t-shirts and some other fun things. We're just working on those details before we really pitch that. But it, it sounds like there's some going to be, there's some going to be, yeah, there's going to be some fun stuff. This half glass of wine is really working. It's magic. Rocking your wine right now. (laughs) I'm so jealous. All right. So are we ready for our unofficial sponsor? Um, I guess so. Yes. Okay. Here we go. (laughs) Oh, I'm so excited. I haven't put the link up because, um, but I'm going to. It's Brian. Brian and then I'll survive. <laughs> all right. I think it'll do all right. All right. Here we go. This episode of It Got Weird is unofficially sponsored by Royal Brush Zip and Clothes. Royal Brush Zip and Clothes. For when you're going to apply your period to your face for a period uh, facial it's a real thing it's happening no. wait a minute yes Whoa. seriously yeah, i've yes, heard it i've heard of these and i can't get on board with it this is a period I'm, facial a period facial okay so like in high school we used to call this getting our red wings as guys ew yeah but that's not on <laughs> your face look at you story no, oh. I forgot to tell you a weird story I was going to say for later, but okay. or not, I was say. can you help me? So, but do you want to hear the story? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So I got, how to get Carson's approval for this, but we were in Estonia and friends and friends and family that don't want to hear about my sex life, like turn off now, just turn it off. I'm going to talk and I'm not going to be held responsible for my words. So if you don't want to hear about my sex life, turn it off. <laughs> Skip ahead. But we were um, in Estonia and we were in the Airbnb. And after that relaxing night, before we went to bed, we were fucking and he went down on me. And all of a sudden I hear, oh, Cass, you're like bleeding a lot. And I, I'm like, what? Because I've had issues in the past of being inconsistent 
and it was not the time of the month. So we both flew out of bed. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is the first time that 